Telcom Business, behind South African businesses' drive to thrive. This week, the spotlight is on South Africa's tech health space and the companies that are making their mark providing innovative health solutions to the public. I'm joined by the head of distribution at UNU Health, Neil Kinsley. You are watching the Entrepreneurial SME, and my name is Rams Mabote. Good evening, Neil, and thank you so much for joining us. Let's start at the top. Who is UNU? Good afternoon to you, and thank you for having me. So fundamentally, uh, we are a health tech company making access to basic primary health care available to underserved communities. That, in a nutshell, is what Uno Health is. How do you do that? So, you know, if you think about it, there are so many people that are challenged just to access basic primary health care. You think how many people right now are probably standing outside a community clinic, for example. You know, one thing we learned about in COVID is that there are, we, there are many innovative ways of doing things. And although the concept of virtual care has been around for many years, COVID taught us that there are some times that we are able to access a, a clinical information, clinical care via health tech and not necessarily being in the same room as the practitioner. And that's what UNU Health does. We provide that health tech platform that puts both patient and caregiver together. Now, of course, this means a whole bunch of things. This means that uh, we reduce absenteeism, for example. You're not having to take off work. Um, it also means those long queues where people are sitting waiting doesn't have to happen. And one thing we know for sure, and that is delayed care tends to push up the cost of care. And we're trying to prevent that. And that's how Uno Health does it. We're based health tech. Is this an app? I mean, I just want somebody who's listening to us now, watching us to understand. Is this something on my phone? I open up, I've got access to my healthy health caregiver. They can talk to me through a diagnosis up to a script. So at the moment, it's web-based technology. Okay. So you really only need access to the web. Yeah. Now, I know there's going to be somebody out there saying, yeah, but great, you know, Neil, this is a great idea, but what about data? Yeah. Because we don't always have access to data. And that's a really valid point. And it's for that reason we're, that we have zero rated the UNU oh. website so that there is no need for data once, you, once you're in that site. Um, Web-based technology, you just need access to the net. We will launch a, an app in the next month or so that will allow an app as well. But for the moment, www.unu.org is where you'd go. Does, does that then mean that the doctor that I have to work with, I, do they have to be pre-approved for the platform or could I could it be that my family doctor? So, I mean, virtual care can take many forms. And, uh, you know, you could, in terms of UNU, we use a network of doctors. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is that we want availability. We want you to be able to get to see the right doctor giving you the right cl clinical information at the right time. Yeah. Um, so we use a network of doctors who are trained to use virtual care. How do you make your money in this process? I, I know the doctor will be consulting, they get their fee, I'll pay them. Where does UNU make the money? So the important thing about UNU is that there are no co-payments in the system. So there is no need for a payment to come from the individual. There is a premium that is paid, and we have three different options, and those options are based very much on your, your health, um, your, the, your level of benefit, etc. Those start from as little as 165 rand a month. That will literally give you access to a basic primary healthcare nurse via WhatsApp, and you have unlimited consultations there. That nurse will then, generally those nurses are able to deal with uh, a, a large percentage of, of the ailments that people present with. That nurse can then pass you on to one of our virtual doctors using a virtual platform, very similar to what we're doing here, or in those situations where the nurse might say, you know, you need to see a doctor in person, our nurses will then make an appointment with one of our network doctors, making sure that you get the best possible care. So what's important here is that at no point are we ever advocating that virtual care takes the place of an in-room consultation. Yeah. What we are saying, however, is that it is an alternative where an in-room consultation is either very difficult 
A patient might be homebound, or they simply don't have access to private medical aid. Because in truth is that it is not always necessary to go in room, right? Some stuff can be done very quickly online. I, I, I agree with you there. And it saves me time. I don't have to then travel to my doctor. I don't have to sit there and read the old uh, magazines that are five years old and as I wait for them at the reception and they're always late. You are funded by Standard Bank. Is this funding a, a proposition that you took this business to them and said this is going to work and they thought it works or is it something that you co-designed with them as a very important service? So, I mean, something like virtual care, and I mean, we, we've been passionate about, and Standard Bank has been passionate about bringing innovative solutions to their client base and to the population at large for many years. Yeah. So, as a, as a bank, um, the bank has always been on the cutting edge of looking for innovative technology. And when the idea of UNO Health was presented to the bank, um, that the opportunity to bring that into the bank, build the business, build the tech, create the network and offer that out into our client base and not only to the to the nation at large it uh, it was an obvious it was an obvious business to go into um i mean i just think that the the idea of bringing access to primary basic healthcare to people that potentially have never had it before is an unbelievably noble activity without a doubt neil we're going to take a short break and when we come back we continue this conversation